Morning, guys. Uh, today we're going to look at the discussion board through OneNote. Okay, so there's two ways. Number one, notice I've moved Microsoft IT Academy under the more, so I've moved it here so that way we can have the discussion board a straight link. Please make sure you look and read today's uh, post um, because there's stuff that you're going to need to do in that today. Uh, but the easiest way now to get there, we'll hit discussion board. Uh, what it's going to ask you to do is to log in as yourself, okay? Again, this is your school email. Please make sure you're using your school email. Um, once you're logged in, this will take you to OneNote. Now, OneNote is in a couple of places. It should be on your desktop. It should also be on your... Uh, uh, in the cloud so you have multiple places to hit notice this is the first splash page basically and it's just an overview of what one note is I'm just going to give you a quick overview today uh, you will notice that your name should appear up here my name should be here because these are the notes here in my one note classroom uh, notice you can open one note in uh, on the desktop which you may or may not want to do right now cloud seems to be the best you can also open this up on an iPad where you can actually write and scribble like these guys here have. So those things are coming, uh, but for right now, I just want you to get used to the tools. <clears throat> Over to the right, you're going to three, see three lines. This is very important because if you click that, you're going to see multiple things. Number one is notebooks, which you can have you know, open other notebooks that you have. Uh, of course, this is the main thing right here, the main page. Activities, well, that's where I've started placing some work for you to do. So right now, Unit 1-3, it basically goes over some objectives and then asks you a couple things to do for an assignment. For instance, what's your favorite game? Uh, when you were younger, what's it now? Uh, how has the idea of fun changed from then to now? And then what makes a computer game fun to you? So you need to answer these questions. Now, there are a couple ways to answer those. One is there is a collaborative site, which I didn't tell you where to do it, and I think uh, in this case, uh, Matthew here, he's actually went in. And notice here, uh, Unit 1, Question 3, what's your favorite game and so forth. This was the questions that came from those activities, but then notice here, uh, these are some of his responses and so forth. And I think these were mine. I probably should have changed the color here. Uh, so that way he would know. And for some reason, I guess where I'm the teacher of it, it didn't show mine in a different color. But for you guys, if you go into the collaborative side, it actually shows who does what. Because when I look at it, it actually has CM Matthew, uh, Charles Matthew. And so it'll show me those, and I'll show you what it looks like for mine here in a moment. So that was here. Now there's a content library in which I can actually upload uh, information for you. <clears throat> so like here, I could actually put notes in here if I wanted or PDFs or stuff like that. And then this is all mine, okay? And the key thing is that you need to complete these activities, but for instance, under your name, <coughs> Excuse me. You can place handouts, class notes if you want to look. Uh, notice all you have to do is click add a page, and we will be using this. Uh, homework. So if you have homework, uh, quizzes, and then you actually have a collaboration place too. Uh, just give you a couple pieces of information. Uh, everything you do can be seen and it can also be backtracked. So please, we're trying to use this tool to be helpful to you. Um, but today, what you need to do is just look around it a little bit. Uh, you do need to go to the collaboration and answer Unit 1, Section 3, which is this one. But you also need to look at Unit 1, Section 4. It does ask you to work with a partner. Uh, if you don't have a partner, you can do this on your own. Uh, make sure you put your answers in your class notes. So where's your class notes? Depends on who you are. Click on your name, click 
class notes and then you would come here you would add a page and title the page here and answer the questions here and you'll notice that when I started working over here it made the screen bigger which is really cool um, and I'm just gonna put here unit one section four answers or part one because we did have a part one so this is his uh, and when I click down here I can answer the questions now yes all I have to do if I want to go back up here to the activities back in these activities remember um, I can just copy and paste that's all I have to do so command C go back to my class notes and let's get to the right one and we just paste and there they are and now you can just start typing your answers in um, and if you want to delete right click delete so I'm going to delete his because he needs to do this himself not me add a new page give that page a title and then that's all it is so what does it look like from my side well I have two uh, one Oh, this my name's here this time uh, I can actually see each and every one of you which is good because this is in real time so if I go to class notes page deleted homework quizzes the same thing for each and every one of you so I can see your work and so this is going to be very helpful because I can see everything here again this collaborative side up here is a common collaborative site for each of us okay and so that's a good place that we can go in and we can do our collaboration and talk for instance here are the responses uh, I'll click back over here uh, you'll see the changes in red and so forth so it's pretty it's a unique place it's a good tool we can start using now this is what it looks like on, uh, and of course I have my notebooks just like you, the welcome, same thing, nothing different. I can make changes here, activities. You can make changes in your folders, but you can't make changes in mine. Uh, but I also have OneNote on the desktop, which looks a little different, <coughs> excuse me. And you can see the names up here versus the horizontal. Uh, I can add more tabs here. So like on the main welcome page here, I can actually have more things here. Under activities, I click here and I can have like part two coming up tomorrow, which will be breaking down a code or something like that. And I can actually put that here. So, those are going to be useful tools to you, okay? So, um, explore it, try to answer the questions for unit one, section three, if you haven't already done so, and also do unit one, section four, part one. So, those are your tasks. Hopefully, you'll be able to do it. And uh, with that, have a good day.